Welcome to another intriguing episode of Talking About Elements, the podcast that ventures into the fascinating world of the periodic table. I'm your guide, and today, we're embarking on a journey to uncover the mysteries of Mytnarium. Mytnarium, with the chemical symbol MT and atomic number 109, is a synthetic element that holds a special place in the history of science. Join me as we delve into its discovery, properties, occurrence, production, and explore the potential applications that make Mytnarium a remarkable element with a story worth telling. Mytnarium is named in honor of Lise Meitner, an Austrian-Swedish physicist who made significant contributions to nuclear physics in the early 20th century. The element was first synthesized in 1982 by a German research team led by Peter Armbruster and Gottfried Munzenberg. It was created at the GSI Helmholtz Center for Heavy Ion Research in Darmstadt, Germany. The process of synthesizing mycnarium was complex and involved bombarding a target of bismuth-209 with accelerated nuclei of iron-58. This method resulted in the formation of a few atoms of mycnarium-266, marking its initial discovery. Mycnarium is a highly radioactive element with no known stable isotopes. It belongs to the transition metal group and is located in period 7 of the periodic table. Due to its extreme rarity and short half-life, detailed studies of mycnarium's properties have been challenging. However, based on its position in the periodic table, scientists have made educated predictions about its properties. Mycnarium is expected to share some characteristics with its neighboring elements, such as hassium and darmstadtium, including being a highly dense and metallic element. Unlike naturally occurring elements like oxygen or carbon, mycnarium does not exist in nature. It is entirely synthetic and can only be produced in specialized laboratories using advanced equipment and techniques. Mycnarium's fleeting existence and scarcity in the universe make it one of the rarest elements on Earth. The production of mycnarium is an intricate and challenging process that requires cutting-edge technology. As mentioned earlier, it is typically synthesized by bombarding heavy target nuclei with high-energy particles. One common method for creating mycnarium involves using a target of bismuth-209 and bombarding it with nuclei of iron-58. This results in the formation of various mycnarium isotopes, with mycnarium-266 being one of the most prominent. However, the production of mycnarium is a painstaking task, and only a minuscule number of mycnarium atoms are produced during each experiment. Mycnarium's extreme rarity, fleeting existence, and high radioactivity limit its practical applications. However, it plays a vital role in advancing our understanding of atomic and nuclear physics, contributing to several areas. Mycnarium is crucial for studying the behavior of heavy elements and nuclear reactions. It provides insights into the fundamental forces that govern the universe. Mycnarium is part of ongoing efforts to discover and explore super-heavy elements, which have unique properties and can expand our understanding of atomic structure. While mycnarium itself may not have direct applications, the knowledge gained from its study contributes to materials science, potentially leading to the development of advanced materials with unique properties. Mycnarium serves as an educational tool, inspiring future generations of scientists and fostering an appreciation for the complexities of the periodic table. The challenges associated with mycnarium, including its extreme instability and limited production, present significant obstacles to its practical use. Its fleeting existence makes it difficult to accumulate enough of the element for extensive experimentation or applications. However, the field of super-heavy element research continues to advance. Scientists are exploring innovative methods to extend the lifetimes of mycnarium isotopes, which could lead to new discoveries and potential applications in the future. In this episode of Talking About Elements, we've embarked on a captivating journey through the world of mycnarium, from its discovery and properties to its potential applications. While mycnarium may remain a rare and challenging element to work with, its role in expanding our understanding of atomic physics and the periodic table is undeniable. 
As scientific exploration continues to push the boundaries of knowledge, we can only imagine what remarkable discoveries and applications might Nerium might unlock in the future. Join us in the next episode as we continue our exploration of the elements that shape our world and our understanding of the universe.